What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Rich Goddess series, how to live a rich goddess life. And today we are going to be talking about another Venusian topic. Shout out to my fellow Venusians out there or my ladies ready to tap more deeply into their Venusian energy. We're going to be talking about luxury how to live a luxurious life, how to incorporate more luxury in your life. And I noticed for a lot of women, sometimes the idea of luxury can seem out of touch and out of reach. It maybe it feels like, I don't know, that's for other people, but it's not for me. When we think about the energy of luxury, a lot of us feel like it's being spoiled or feeling like, you know, it's not something that is just, we could relate to, you know? And I noticed that for a lot of people, when it comes to bringing ease into their life or having more bougie energy, a lot of people have are just like, no. They, it's like, it's almost like the kind of woman who you're eating out somewhere or you're at a buffet or you're just at a dinner and somebody comes and they bring you some food and cooks for you or whatever the case is, or somehow you just magically get some food. And then maybe whatever's on the plate is not something you want to eat. The girl who's not tapped into her luxurious energy and that Venusian energy, she's going to look at that meal and she's going to eat it knowing damn well she don't like that food. But it's almost like the energy of I'm going to take whatever is just given to me, even though it doesn't really make me happy, even though it doesn't really make me feel good. It's really this energy of not valuing your own desires and your own pleasure. But the woman who's tapped into her Venusian energy, she naturally just kind of gets what she wants. One, because that's what she requires from her life, like within herself, regardless of other people, she has a certain standard for herself. And two, because she's that way other people have a tendency to just naturally give her what she wants and universe really does <laughs> like when you step into that energy and you allow yourself to have quality over quantity like you have a, a bigger taste like you know exactly what you're looking for you know what you want and you're not afraid to embrace your desires naturally you start to get more and receive more from this universe and that's what venus is about it doesn't mean being a bitch right and you know we think about the most luxurious women we think about divas and they're like these hollywood portrays it to be you know these bitches who are just so rude and so mean to others instead of just women who know what they want and want to live their life how they want to live it you know like somebody who comes to mind is like Nicki minaj and insert this Nicki minaj clip i spend time and i spend energy and i spend effort and i spend everything i have every fiber of my being to give people quality so if i turn up to a photo shoot and you had and you got a 50 dollars clothes budget and some sliced pickles on board. You want to know what? No, I am going to leave. Is that wrong for wanting more for myself, wanting people to treat me with respect? But you know what? Next time they know better. But had I accepted the pickle juice, I would be drinking pickle juice right now when I am. But when she's literally like, look, I worked hard for this. Like I've been living my life. I've been doing my thing. Like I want to have what I want and I want to be treated in the way I want to be treated, especially on set. If I'm going to show up and do what I need to do. I have to feel like my cup is filled first. And that's a luxurious mindset. It's understanding that your desires and your needs can be met and you don't have to sacrifice those desires and needs for anyone, right? But yeah, let's get into it. How can we embody that mindset? How can we experience more luxury in our lives? And how can we just really live a five-star life on all levels, right? Luxury is not just about money. It's about a way of being and a state of being. And that's what the goddess Venus teaches us all about. Okay, one, you want to always ask yourself, how can I make this thing easier? How can I make this experience easier? How can I make this job easier for me? How can I make this business easier and more successful? come easier? How can I make this thing enjoyable? How can I add more pleasure to whatever it is I'm doing? Whether you're in the shower, whether you're at work, whether you're doing your business, how can you want to always ask yourself, how can I make this more enjoyable? Because when you add that extra sense of enjoyment and ease into whatever you're doing, it's almost like romanticizing your life. So for example, in the shower, instead of just going in the shower, 
and you know, taking the most nearby soap and just rubbing your body really quickly and then just getting up and getting out because you're like rushing to work. Have a little bit of extra time in the morning. Pick out soaps that really smell good. Take your time. I like to listen to classical music and just play classical music in the morning and just taking my time, really rubbing my body, rubbing every inch of my body softly and exfoliating and having multiple layers. Like I have like, you know, the low, the pre lotion soap, I have the regular soap, I got all the things because I want to add that next level of enjoyment in my life, right? I don't want to just send a vibration to the universe that says, I'm always in a rush, I'm always in a hurry, and I don't got time, and everything. And that's naturally more masculine energy. But the feminine principle says, take your time. You have all the time in the world. You have all the time to just add that. So even if it's just adding an extra 10 minutes to your shower routine or to anything, getting a little bit more sleep or making your sleep experience more luxurious by getting silk pillows instead of regular pillows, having things that activate your senses. This is how you can add that Venusian energy and that joy and that luxury. And when you start doing that in small levels, levels you'll start to see that being reflected in your life because whenever you activate Venus on any level, you activate your magnetism and your ability to receive more and more and more from the universe. Okay, two, you wanna also adopt the mindset that less is more. And I know that sounds contradicting when you first think about it, but a lot of the times we always think we need stuff. Stuff, 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 stuff. But a lot of times we honestly need to clear space because when we have too much clutter in our life, in our room, in like our place, Places and stuff like that, literally it blocks the flow of abundance from coming in. And we need abundance. We need money to be able to have these more luxurious experiences. So Venus is about quality over quantity. So you wanna go in your closet and look at all the clothes that you have and really just go through and say, okay, do I need all these? Like, do these things truly light me up? Or am I just holding on to this stuff because I feel like I should, because I don't know if I'm gonna get any more, so I'm just hold on to what I have, right? That ease comes from a, a place of abundance. There's more than enough and I'll always be provided for. So when we allow ourselves to actually clear space and to have things of quality, not just to have things, we are inviting more abundance to come in and we actually have the room. And you want to do this in every aspect of your life. Less is more. Um, a lot of the times we hold on to stuff because it's coming from a place of scarcity. No need to hold on to it. Like you see how this environment is really like light. It feels light and airy and there's not too much going on and stuff like that. This feels really good. Like, it reminds me of when I'm in my Tesla and the Tesla's just gliding and it's like really clean, right? You know, you wanna have that energy of just like lightness, not too much, everything. And that is an energy of luxury. And honestly, Venus actually rules over your car. And I actually gotta do this too, because right now my car is a little bit like, I need to go to the car wash. But keeping your car like, clutter free, keeping your car clutter free, not having stuff stacked up in it. Venus is cars. So if you notice when you have a lot going on in your car all the time and you have a lot of trash and junk in your car and junk in your trunk, you know, that's basically blocking your Venusian energy. Literally, I, know, I think KRS is the one who said this. You want to clean out your car. And I, the example that he brought in is like, think of your car as your magnetism and Venus. I think in his example, he was talking about how he wanted to be, he wanted a wife and a family and kids and he had a coupe, right? He had a nice coupe car, which is really nice and luxurious, so we're stepping in the right direction. But his mom told him, look, get rid of the coupe, it's a lovely car, and then get a luxurious car with four doors so that you can have room for your kids. So you wanna be intentional about the cars and your house and stuff of that nature. Do you have the space? Clear out any unnecessary things and understand that less is more, and that's how you can accept more luxury in your life. Okay, the next key, is you wanna date up in friends and men. So a lot of the times we are taught to like go for what is like around you to, especially for my girls who didn't grow up in the best areas. We're just good taught like, yeah, just accept what is given, accept the men that are in your proximity, even though maybe these men are not treating you in the way that you would like to be treated or you're not being provided for, or you just don't feel like, it just feels like it's giving bare minimum or better yet, you are in situations where you're constantly taking care of other people and nobody's really helping you or assisting you or taking care of you. You want to start 
dating up in friends and men. So what do I mean by that? You wanna start dating people who are wealthy, who have expanded mindsets. You wanna start being around people who think abundantly because I don't know why exactly, but when you spend time around those energies, like for example, for me, um, I think it was, I would say really 2021 and 2022, I really made it my business to invest in um, entrepreneur events, to go to business conferences, to travel more. I went to my first like luxury spiritual retreat and I was literally like putting myself in the situations, surrounded with people who I wanted to be like, whose lives I wanted to live like and people I wanted to date. And I literally saw my own sense of wealth increase, my own sense of belief in myself increase because I literally saw exactly what I was looking for. Like when you haven't seen somebody, you know, treating a girl like a princess or whatever the case is, sometimes it's hard to believe that you can also experience that. But when you literally see it in front of you, like I literally saw, um, shout out to Gerard and his wife. I literally saw how in love they were with each other and how much love they poured into each other and how he like blesses her and like speaks so kindly of her and it, like gives her the world right in front of my face and you know he's a Gerard is a super successful entrepreneur like 50 million dollar company so I saw that and I saw that being reflected in my life but I literally saw that in person and I was surrounded by those kind of men in person and when that happened it completely raised the bar for me in my life. Literally so much so like friends, men, that when I came back home from that trip in Mexico, literally everything changed in my life. I had certain friends, I had some people that were working for me. All shit, when shit went crazy after that because I kept on saying while I was there, if it's not giving what I'm experiencing in this moment, I don't want it in my life. Moment I got home, lost friends, lost associates because it was clearing space for new people to come in. But if you don't experience it and you're not around it, you're not in proximity to it, it's going to be hard to even have those standards, right? And not just like online and seeing things online, but be in the energy of it. There's something about literally being in the energy of wealth, being in the energy of that type of experience that really changes your life. So go to the event, invest in yourself, get around the right group of people, the right group of women. Need help with that? Join Rich Goddess Club. I mean, my online and in-person community because we are gonna do quarterly events in person where you can be surrounded with like-minded women who are literally upgrading their lives on all levels who are stepping into that next version of themselves and going higher and higher and higher. Courses, classes, content, podcasts, going live, getting teachers, other teachers involved too to help you literally go to the next level. Join down below, change your life, but it's really important. The company you keep is very, very important. You want to inspire and live in life where you're constantly inspired. And last but not least, in order to live a luxurious life, baby, it's gonna take some money. <laughs> It's gonna take money. And I, I know like when you feel like, okay, when you're in that struggle mode and you're in survival mode, it's hard to think about luxury because you're constantly thinking about surviving and you're constantly in a state of fight or flight. You're not relaxed. It's hard to think about ease and tranquility when you're wondering how you're gonna pay your bills. So. The next thing you really wanna do is think of like, okay, how can I get out of this state of life? Like, what do I need to do to like step into and get rid of this stress from my life? How much money do I need to save up? Um, having a savings account. Like you wanna have at least a year of expenses saved, ideally, because if you walk around with that energy of like, look, my root chakra is taken care of. I'm safe and secure. I know I got rent. I know I got everything I need for at least a year. You are able to walk around a little different. So you wanna make saving money your business, but not just like, okay, I'm gonna save money just to save it. But you wanna also have something for investing in yourself because you can't necessarily save your way to wealth quickly. You want to like have money saved and stacked up for like a rainy day, if you wanna call it that. But then also you wanna have money saved so that you can invest into yourself. And that's how you kind of leave the survival mode so I don't care every single week every single time you get paid put something away to the side and don't freaking touch it I don't care if it's like you feel like you have to remember this is so that you can get out of the cycle and life that you're currently in have that cushion have that allow yourself to when we don't allow ourselves to have that cushion it's because we are so accustomed to the struggle that we don't know what it feels like to be at peace and we literally cannot 
take the concept of abundance. Abundance is always having more than enough. So you want to allow your bank account to stack up. You want to allow yourself to have a savings account and to do that so that you can do what you want to do in life. Get out of paycheck to paycheck and literally keep on stacking. Um, a great app for that, no, this isn't sponsored, but it's an app that I love to use. It's Capital with a Q. And if you use the code down below, you can literally get $25. I get $25. We be big well in. So download the Capital app. And what I like about this app is that, especially for my girls who find it hard and they spend money to the last dime, you want to use this app because you can set it so that every time any money comes in you can take a percentage out or a fixed amount out especially for my entrepreneurs and freelancers and it kind of like having a PayPal or a cash out balance it will hold it in the capital out and it automatically takes out and puts it somewhere where you can't see it and it, la and, it and it stacks up over time and you can see projections and like how much you can save in a year and I allow myself to do that and literally save up a lot of money that way because it's easier for me and I'm not as tempted because I don't have my eyes on it at all the time I just let it stack up in the background and let it um you know stack up and they have a bunch of cool little saving things on there like they have it like every time you like a video on YouTube you save a dollar or whatever like it's a really interesting app so definitely check out that app and I love that for the girls who need a little help with like stacking up that cash. But you should make up stacking your cash, your business. Like get out of the paycheck to paycheck, do what you have to do. Need more help with that? Check out the course, Fem Finance in Rich Goddess Club. Um, the basics of just like understanding money. And we have other people that come on there and talk about money and stuff like that. So pretty cool. But yeah. I hope you enjoy. That's how you start to get into the energy of luxury and accepting more luxury in your life and really attracting more, especially from a place of where you don't necessarily experience it, where you don't necessarily have it. Go on the trip, immerse yourself in these environments and you have to see it and feel it and touch it so that you can visualize it, embody it so that naturally it becomes a part of you. Normalize it for yourself even before it happens for you. And that's how you enter your soft life era, your rich goddess era. It's been real, guys. I love you so much. Comment down below. Tell me which like tip you're going to do and stuff of that nature. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.